If you like this video, please consider making a donation to the American Cancer Society. I've included a link to our fundraising team in the description field of this video. A little in abundance is a lot, so any amount would be greatly appreciated. Hello again, my friends. Eric Pearson here on the deck of the ACC Epsilon here on Carrier Command 2. And today I'm going to do a little experiment with my good friend, the Lieutenant. Say hello, Lieutenant. Hello, Lieutenant. Yep, I deserve that. All right, so my friend here is has direct control of one of our SEAL drones and has placed it in position right off the bow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step off the bow, land on the SEAL, and ride it like a motorized surfboard to shore under the lieutenant's control. So get ready. Here we go. Here's hoping this works. I just have to... I don't think I can strafe side to side, so I have to be very careful how I do this. Okay, here we go. Cowabunga! And I'm aboard. Okay, Lieutenant. Let's ride to shore. Engine's going to start, sir. Thank you very much. Now, I'm remaining under the seal, but I have to swivel my head to maintain the same orientation as the seal. Okay, I'm staring out the back of the seal right now. You can look down and you can see the two uh, thrusters there. And there's the snorkel, and now I'm staring forwards. So here we are riding along. It's a bit like riding a uh, jet ski. I have to say, I've only been on a jet ski once, and it was one of the older models that you had to stand on. And the way it was designed, you have to gun the engine to get up on plane. And my sense of balance wasn't really that great, and so I kept leaning over to one side and falling into the water. That was not fun. <laughs> so here I am riding along. Let me look back at the ship. Yep. Managing the route seven and a half knots. Downhill, sometimes to the eight. <laughs> If it weren't for the royalty considerations, this would be a good place to put a Beach Boys song. Yeah, I can see... I can see the bottom of the water here as we're getting into the shallows. Yep. Looks like we're on dry land now. All right, so there we are. So we've made it to the island. I can't step off the uh, seal because if I do, I can't jump, so I would have no way of getting back on. So this is about as good as we're going to get. So, Lieutenant, if you would be so kind as to get us back to the ship, that would be swell.
see what operating automatic is. Excellent, thank you very much. And back in the water. Of course, everything reminds me of something. Looking back at the island, I'm reminded of uh, the island from the old game Mist. That was a fun game for the time. I also read the novels that uh, were adapted from the original game. It was pretty good. Pretty interesting. So, never read them. Yeah. So. I would have had the game on PSP. Yeah, I think in in this series they had a total of five games. I think before they finally brought the story to a close. I only actually played two of the games. I never got around to going through the others, but I caught up with the story thanks to other people's videos on YouTube, so... <laughs> exactly. Alright, so we're getting a good exterior view of the ship. That's pretty good. So, we can see the left side weapon station with the uh, main deck gun. We can see the radar array. And now over here we can see the port side torpedo launcher. And now we're approaching the well deck. Approaching the point where it So here we are, coming aboard. Uh, thank you very much. Let's wait until we've come to a complete stop. Let's please remain in the car until it's come to a complete stop. I feel like I'm at a theme park. Alright. So there we go. Excellent, thank you so much. So there we are, we've surfed a seal to shore and back. 
So thank you very much for watching, and join me next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.